Hello and welcome back to this GCSE Chemistry Revision Series brought to you by RevisedChemistry.uk. Today we're going to be learning about ionic bonding, simple covalent structures, giant covalent structures and metallic bonding. Metals are often shiny solids that have very high melting and boiling points. They're often very good at conducting electricity and heat and have a very high density. Some of these properties can be attributed to the fact that they are held together by a regular arrangement of positive ions surrounded by a sea of delocalized electrons. Because they have delocalized electrons, metals are very good at conducting electricity and heat. And because of the regular arrangement of ions, it means that metals are also very malleable and ductile, which means that they can either be hammered into shape or pulled into wires. In chemistry, we use models to help us understand how atoms bond. However, each of these different models has its positives and negatives, and so we need to talk about and compare each of them to help us understand more. The ball and stick model allows us to see the arrangement of atoms in 3D, but it does not give us an accurate image of how much space atoms actually take up and it doesn't actually give us a proper representation of bonds because they are not really lines. The space filling, or the closed pack model, allows us to see the true space that atoms or ions take up and how much overlap of electron density there is. However, we cannot always rely on this model as it does not show charges and sometimes it's very hard to see which atoms are actually bonded. The most common way to represent covalent bonds is with a straight line diagram where each line represents a shared pair of electrons. This model is very good at showing us which atoms are bonded together, but it doesn't allow us to see the amount of space or the electron density of each atom. 